this week, we roll for Critical Rig. My pick of the week is a crossover that I never know I needed. It's Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons. When Morty enlists his grandpa to help him learn the game, it goes about as well as you'd expect. The whole Smith family finds himself in an epic quest with no escape in sight. The writing team consists of Patrick Rothfuss of The King Killer Chronicles and Marvel's Jim Zub. On art is Eisner nominated artist Troy Little, who adapted Hunter S. Thompson's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This book is bound to be a great time. If you're a fan of these two franchises, how can you pass on this? And there's always other great books every Wednesday on the stands. From DC this week comes a cartoon crossover when Daffy Duck meets the Joker. Daffy Duck makes his way to the Gotham City Acme Factory, only to find the abandoned building is now the secret lair for the Clown Prince of Crime. Will Daffy be able to escape, or does the Joker have himself a loony new henchman? Also from DC is Scarlet Number 1. This new series continues Brian Michael Bendis and Alex Maley's creator-owned tale of a woman pushed too far. This is a new chapter in what IGN called one of the best new series on the stands, but will be new reader friendly. And from Boom Studios comes Power Rangers Shattered Grid Number 1. The Shattered Grid event is going on in the Power Rangers comics already, but the big finale is a one-shot book out this week. So if you've been following, make sure you don't miss it. These books, Jewett's Pick of the Week, and so many more are available every Wednesday at both Inner Geek locations. in the toy box. Normally, when we do these vintage toy segments, I show you those nostalgic commercials from Saturday morning. This week, we have something a little bit different, and it's just too epic not to share. G.I. Joe! The world's most expert team, G.I. Joe, is the G.I. Joe! It looks like everybody loved the real American hero. G.I. Joe is one of geek culture's most iconic toy lines. If you're interested in the full history of the line, you can check out Netflix Toys That Made Us episode. It's really great and it covers some of the comic and cartoon too. We recently bought a huge collection. I have a ton of figures from 82 to 86. You can even take flight in your very own Sky Striker. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe team, the new agent, Sky Striker, take off! The Cobra Latora has been Super Weapon, and the Super Expert has been released. So if you're feeling nostalgically patriotic, stop by the shop and find your favorite Joe. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and I'll see you on Wednesday. <coughs> this is going to be uh, the best looking bike in the block. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Hey, Ezra, don't you know you're not supposed to use spray paints without lots of fresh air? Dial tone! All paints, and especially spray paints, have poisonous gases in them. If you breathe too much, you can get very sick. We didn't know. Always read the label carefully and check for warnings before you start any job. Wouldn't hurt to wear these masks, either. Now, now we know. know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Yo, Joe!